Thank you, Chair. Uh, so today, uh, I'd like to offer you a new view on plasma fractals uh, from the high point of very long ages. So as some of you know, plasma fractal is widely used to simulate cows, generate textures, and build heat map for realistic trains. And here is a generated image of cows uh, by plasma fractals. So in the last part of the demo, uh, I will generate a such picture. So, uh, plasma fractals are conventionally uh, represented by recursive subdivision. So, uh, let me uh, show you some of the examples. Uh, I will cite you a simple uh, midpoint displacement algorithm, uh, that is bilinear interpolation. So in this algorithm, uh, we start with the initially empty image of the of the pixels. So M C is four corners, and uh, uh, the, the circles are uh, colored back uh, shows the pixels that is seen. And then uh, the midpoint uh, along alongside is uh, filled with the average of two closest corners plus random noise. And then uh, the, the center pixel is determined uh, by the average of four corners plus random noise. And then uh, now uh, we have four sub squares. Uh, field, uh, whose uh, four corners are filled. One, two, three, four. And then uh, the same uh, up something is uh, recursively called uh, until two of the pixels, four pixels are filled. And next, uh, in contrast to the conventional approach, our new approach is represented by expansion path noise. Uh, I will show the example. Uh, first, uh, we start with the uh, 2 plus 2 C picture. And uh, applying an enlargement function and noise, uh, we expand the picture. And the white uh, circle shows the new pixels. And, uh, the midpoints or uh, along alongside alongside is determined by uh, the average of uh, two corners and plus one the noise and center of corners is determined like this. And uh, until we get the target size of the picture, uh, we repeat this procedure. Uh, and uh, we can represent the enlargement function uh, such as bilinear interpolation uh, can be represented as a 2D convolution. Uh, for bilinear interpolation, uh, we can replace, uh, we can uh, we can uh, do the do the up something uh, using these three corners. And interestingly, uh, the diamond scale algorithm uh, that is a uh, more complex uh, midpoint displacement algorithm uh, can be uh, shown represented uh, as a 2D convolution uh, using these corners. Also, by cubic integration, uh, which is uh, used to expand the uh, images and which is more uh, complicated uh, than by linear interpretation can be represented uh, using uh, these columns. And uh, now uh, I'd like to talk uh, why we need uh, this new approach. Uh, our approach is, is really uh, highly uh, inspired by early languages. So 
uh, when we consider implementing implementing a Python fractals in our array languages, uh, array languages is uh, good for expressing uh, the operation of array. However, uh, we have to think of transformation of images as a whole, rather than uh, fiddling with individual pixels, uh, as I showed in the conventional way. Uh, in order to uh, implement uh, Python fractals in array languages, uh, we can think of uh, Python fractals as a repeated noisy image expansion. And a uh, conventional way is uh, represented as recursive subdivision. Uh, our new view uh, is not recursive, but iterative. That's the biggest difference. And uh, we implemented array languages as an embedded DSL in Pokemon. Uh, our array languages is highly inspired by the concept of APL. But uh, unlike APL, uh, the normal programming syntax uh, that actually that of Pokemon is available. Uh, so that means uh, expressions uh, may span as many lines as needed to nicely uh, display them. Uh, and we can attach comments or and also, uh, we can name uh, expressions meaningfully. So it makes the expression more conventional. Also, uh, the full data is left to right rather than right to left. Uh, so it also makes the uh, expression more conventional. And not everything is an array, uh, so we can uh, use optimal data types, uh, not only arrays such as integers, uh, floats, uh, booleans, strings, and so on. And uh, implicit convergence padding uh, overloadings are eliminated. Uh, for example, uh, convergence from into float uh, uh, in order to convert from into float, uh, we need to use the function uh, for of int. And uh, that helps minimize surprise and er unexpected errors. So uh, in our array, lang array languages, uh, we define uh, the array like this, and this is a uh, this is combination of shape or index domain uh, represented by type i, and the function from an index to an element. So the feature of our array is uh, that uh, operation operation on arrays are automatically fused and copying is avoid, avoided. So actually, in fact, no arrays are allocated unless explicitly requested. So after we define the array, array form, uh, we implement the expander, the function that implements noisy expansion. The functions uh, expander receives two three elements. A uh, first scalar. A uh, scalar is an element function, uh, such as by linear, by cubic, uh, square diamond, convolutional, or something. And NSF is the uh, uh, numbers of whose type is float. Uh, that is a noise scaling related to the fractal dimension. And for images, it should be uh, in a range uh, around from 1.1 through uh, 2.2. And the materialize two is uh, the function to allocate array. Uh, in the previous slide, uh, our array is not allocated uh, unless explicitly requested. Uh, but by calling materialize two, uh, we can allocate array uh, in order to reduce the amount of computation. Uh, and next, I'll explain. Uh, what expander do uh, visually. Uh, first, uh, after we see the argument scalar, NSF, and the seed array, uh, we name the array M2. And uh, by map F NSF, uh, we we'll multiply the NSF uh, to the array and expand it uh, by running scalar. And then, uh, this function, the, uh, the node uh, M2 uh, make the array of the target size uh, 
the, color, the pixels color blue uh, has a random noise. And uh, adapt is to erase uh, in order to add random noise uh, to the new pixels. And uh, finally, uh, we can uh, express the uh, generating problem fractals like this and times n expander scale of NSF. Uh, in this expression, n times n means uh, running an uh, enlargement function for n times, and the scalar is the enlargement function, as I explained. Uh, we define the uh, scale twice bilinear for bilinear interpolation, scale twice SP for square diamond, and scale twice BHC for bicubic interpolation. And then NSF is a noise. So uh, by uh, by representing uh, by representing by uh, using array languages, uh, we can express the uh, generation of pattern factors are uh, very simple, simply. So based on this, uh, I will show you uh, I will show you generating some uh, images. Uh, by Python fractals uh, as a demonstration. So uh, we define the uh, C array uh, whose name is M0 as Oh, sorry. We define the uh, C array in zero like this. <coughs> Is it? Okay, and then We will implement the uh, expansion. So, example. So first, uh, we use uh, bilinear interpolation for something, and then NSF um, will well to point it. And uh, factor uh, two D arrays uh, whose element it shows an uh, luminous uh, has generated, and then. Uh, convert it to the picture, and the picture is generated. Let me show you the picture. Yeah. 
different uh, pictures by using uh, uh, sky diamond and by cubic integration. And uh, let me change as a noise. So. So next, uh, I change the uh, noise NSF uh, to one point one. platform calls. Uh, so compared to the picture of whose noise is 2.2, uh, I found that the, the more the bigger the noise NSF become, uh, the more smoother the surface will be. And next uh, Let's generate the picture by uh, using uh, square diamond. Screen, uh, it is uh, like you, some of you can see this, uh, but uh, the picture generated by uh, by linear uh, around here, uh, there is a uh, there seems to be a uh, uh, outline of a uh, grid. Maybe you can see it, uh, but uh. Square diamond uh, algorithm uh, helps uh, to help avoid avoid uh, such line artifacts. As you can see, so it's not visible. And finally, generate pictures uh, by using a fine uh, by chip. So uh, by changing uh, the way to to implement something a noise, uh, we can generate various pictures, formal pictures. So and uh, by exploring a new way to generate uh, cosmic particles, 
have you been realized that uh, the new family of carbon fractals always dispersed? Uh, it means uh, any image expansion algorithm gives the uh, algorithms to generate carbon fractals. And that's it for that's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.